Now at 11, protests for change and police reform continue across Portland for a 25th straight night. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly in for Jeff Gianola tonight. And we want to get straight out to our Jacqueline Abad tonight. She's been following tonight's demonstrations. And uh, Jacqueline, uh, where are you at uh, right now? What do you see out there tonight? How are those, cr how are those crowds tonight? Wayne, we are currently at 4th and May. Now, you'll remember at 10 o'clock, we showed you the group of protesters that were outside of PPB. They were chanting Black Lives Matter. And we even saw one of the inmates inside the Justice Center flickering the lights, and the protesters were cheering below. And so the protesters from there decided to march down 2nd Avenue. They came back towards the Justice Center to pick up everybody. We just spoke with an organizer who tells me that somebody came in, tried to start a fight. And so right now, they're just going to stay in this area. I'm going to give you a look at the crowd. You can see that there's, you know, a couple hundred people out here, not quite the sizes of the, the crowds that we've seen in days past, but there is quite a number of people out here today. Um, we, like, like I said just before, we, they were out, outside PPB. Now they're just kind of standing in the middle of the street here on, uh, on 4th Avenue here. Um, and again, organizers say they're going to stay put. Right now there's no plans for them to march anywhere at this time. Um, but earlier today, uh, we covered a, a gathering over at Jefferson High School where several hundred people came out. Demonstrators with the Rose City Justice started their march at Jefferson High School. But today we are trying to address and highlight our black community members in Oregon, as well as our universal black community members that have felt the trauma of pain and violence and death. They chanted throughout the streets of North Portland. And when they came to the Skidmore overpass, they stopped to remember Kendra James. Well, Kendra James laid dead on this intersection. Kendra James will not ever be able to speak her own name. She will never travel across this inner place. Kendra James deserves so much more than that. A black woman who was shot and killed by police in 2003. Organizers challenged those who came out to show support for the black community to continue the fight against racial injustice. We must be uncomfortable together to be able to make society uncomfortable to push for change. Now, Wayne, just to be clear again, the group over at Jefferson High School is not the same group that's out here near the Justice Center. I'm going to give you a final look of kind of how things are looking right now. I don't know if my photographer, Richie, can kind of zoom in, but um, protesters are kind of flashing lights over at the Justice Center. We've seen that in nights and in previous nights as well. People are just kind of congregating in this area near 4th and Main. Um, right now, it doesn't seem like they're going to be marching anywhere, but again, there is quite a bit of a, a crowd gathering out here. Um, also in front of the Multnomah County Courthouse as well. They're just standing out in the middle of the street. Doesn't look like they're marching anywhere, but we'll continue to monitor the scene here near 4th and Main Wayne, and uh, I'll send it back to you in the studio.